We are just two days away from the release of the Marvels and Kevin Feige and everyone of those over behind the scenes working on this movie that have actually been promoting it, you know, day in and day out are very much in fear of how this movie is really going to perform. We know that Kevin Feige did some last minute touches weeks ago to really kind of finalize the movie, where it's going, and on top of that we know that director Nia DaCosta has been doing a lot of damage control and has really been defending Brie Larson through and through. Let's discuss. This is Mike Zero. Subscribe if you're new and like this video to see future updates. I'm also on Twitter at MikeZero1. I thank you also very much for the great and kind support. Now, if it couldn't get any worse for Disney, well, let's just focus on the Marvels here, because it is expected to be by far the worst box office failure out of the entire MCU. That's exactly what it's projected to become, because of how much money went into this thing, hundreds of millions of dollars, and yet, this movie is not looking good for not just the release date, but also for the weekend in the opening weekend as a whole. So when we look at Brie Larson, we know that she felt like she really, you know, deserved to get a direct sequel. She commented on this before in the past that she wasn't really all uh, hyped up or all excited about being involved in an ensemble cast at first and she had to evolve with that. And a lot of this also had to do with the fact that Brie is not really the main focus in this film, something that also she was very upset about. Well, this is where things get very intriguing about Brie Larson's reaction, about the backlash, about everything going on with the box office projections, and more. Now, given that Disney is dealing with the backlash for the Marvel's bad press and an expected astronomical box office failure once it hits theaters, one major development has to do with actress Brie Larson. Director Nia DaCosta recently delivered embarrassing damage control for the film by delivering the following. I have been keeping in touch with Brie since we have been trying to keep up with the unexpected noise from Marvel fans. And one thing that Brie did tell me that she wanted me to share with everyone is that she feels that this is a living example of how toxic the fans of this franchise can really be, much like Star Wars as well. She feels that the fans just need to shut up already and to quiet down the noise before ever even seeing the film. Having worked on this production, I will admit it was challenging and Brie was put in a situation where serious cutbacks for her character needed to be applied. It's just what had to happen. But she feels the pushback from hardcore fans are completely unfair and childish and she is asking everyone to keep it quiet and to lock opinions to yourself because it's not helping anybody. I think anyone who tries to validate that, we had tons of drama with Brie, really need to take a look at themselves in the mirror because Brie and I do agree that most of these fans are seemingly toxic men in nature that are just flat out afraid of women or s uh, obtaining strong female-led roles. We are noticing a pattern here and it's damn insulting to watch this unfold before our film has even dropped in theaters yet. This film is an important one because it holds such a crucial ending, but Brie feels that she deserves respect and the recognition that she deserves for this role that she poured her heart and soul into. Now guys, let me just stop here about what Nia DaCosta is confirming, is that she's trying to make it like there was little to no drama happening on the set of the Marvels and after they were done filming, where in reality, there was. You know, we know that Kevin Feige was having a major meltdown with this movie, trying to fix things and patch things here and there. The overall test screening, at least one of them, was a massive failure to the point where screeners were walking away. Much like what happened with Aquaman The Lost Kingdom, very similar situation. And the fact that they dial back on the running time of the Marvels, I think is everything that needs to be said about how big of a failure this movie is going to be. We know that Brie Larson's role has been quite drastically cut down and reduced. A lot of scenes were deleted. And we also talked about this months ago, that she is being let go from many different Marvel projects. She was supposed to appear in the form of multiple cameos for upcoming Marvel TV shows on Disney+, Plus that is no longer happening. A direct Captain Marvel sequel is already axed and no longer happening as well. To top things off, she was supposed to get a big cameo in Deadpool 3, that is also not happening. But Nia DaCosta continues, you know, it seems like she can't let go of defending Brie Larson and really kind of blaming toxic men, quote-unquote, 
on the failure of this film and the bad press that it's receiving. In reality, guys, let's be clear, it's because this movie has so much money going into it and it's really not delivering with the core audience. Nobody really is looking up to this movie. It's cringeworthy, the marketing is terrible, it's subpar in my opinion, but let's move on. Now, she goes on to actually elaborate further. We have no doubts in our mind that this will be our successful film th through word of mouth with the surprises that we have in store for the end of the film that's going to tie into future Marvel releases. Kevin Feige is a genius with how he wanted this film to go in a certain direction, but Brie feels that she is unwanted and it's hard to watch her go through such a behavior like that. This film, I think, will inspire women that they can land superhero roles, just like this one, and that, it's and that it's possible. We here at Marvel Studios felt that it was important to really establish this film as a theatrical release instead of a direct-to-streaming release. I think those up at Disney also have a good head on their shoulders, but I can't really comment or confirm or deny on what Bree's future holds or looks like in the MCU. I just really can't address that right now. Now, again, I think that last little piece there, she's basically saying that Bria is done. You know, we all know that this is happening behind the scenes right now. We talked about this weeks ago that Disney wants nothing to do with Brie Larson anymore, you know? And we all remember that infamous interview where Brie is being questioned about her role in the Marvels and how she's like, oh, I don't know. I don't know if they want me back, you know? Kind of getting really jaded, um, in, in nature, the way she was talking, uh, almost like she was like in need of sympathy or something around those lines when she was giving that interview. You know, she looked very, very angry and upset. And that was well before the Marvel's wrapped production. But what's interesting about this though is the fact that you got DaCosta saying that this is a project that was done by Disney and that Disney has a good head on their shoulders and that Kevin Feige's a genius with this film, it's obvious damage control. This movie's gonna be a massive failure. Nobody's really asking for this release to begin with and the marketing has been terrible. We know that there were massive cutbacks on that, by the way, we talked about this. Uh, they really cut back a lot of funds on the marketing and that's why you're not seeing quite as many as ads as you are supposed to be seeing because of the cutbacks. So at the end of the day, expect this movie to do worse than The Flash. That's what it's projected to act like at least. And I would not be surprised if you're gonna see this on Disney Plus in less than two months. I give it like a month and a half to be honest. It'll go right onto streaming. Kind of like what happened, you guys remember what happened with um, the other releases out there. Flash is a great example. We also have other living examples like Shazam 2, Fury of the Gods. And, you know, I think it's another release that's going to be showcased for Disney of another failure. Right around, you know, with Wish, that's also projected to fail. So anyway, guys, drop a comment below. Fill me in below in the comments what you all have to say about this. And if you guys did enjoy the content for today, make sure to drop a thumbs up on this video to support the channel. And I will catch you guys later. Everything.